Hey everyone, in today's Relation Tip Tuesday, I'm going to talk to you about four steps that you need to take to have a difficult conversation with your partner. This is Janev Cadell of MyBestRelationship.com and I'm going to share with you four key steps that you need to take if you'd like to have a difficult conversation with your partner. Now, women entrepreneurs come to me all the time saying they have to have a conversation about money or something that they just did and, and it's, it can be very, very difficult to bring up uncomfortable subjects sometime in a relationship. So, like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you four steps to do this effectively, or most effectively, I should say. So the first step that we're gonna talk about is to set a time to have this conversation. Let your partner know, not in a scary way, like we need to talk, but let them know, you know, there's something really important I wanna talk with you about. Let's figure out a time to do that. And carve out a time on your calendar where you're both gonna be free, where there's no kids, you know, competing for attention. Uh, and where you have a little bit more time than you might even think you need to have this conversation because you're going to have to give them room time to, to, to speak as well. So by setting a time, you're not only giving your partner the message that this is important and that it's something that you're thinking about. Um, you're giving them the heads up like, oh, wow, I'm going to pay attention. And you're also kind of forcing yourself to have this conversation. So this is kind of almost as much about you as it is about your partner because you need to be accountable to be able to have this conversation as well so to yourself. That's the first step. The second step is that when you start to have this conversation, it's really important for you to be grounded and knowing what your intentions are and having this conversation and be you know, very firm about what you're going to be expressing. And to do this, when you start the conversation, use what relationship researcher Dr. John Gottman refers to as a softened startup. And what that means is by really kind of like mindfully starting this conversation in a calm and gentle way so that you don't, you know, lose track halfway through or like the minute you start having the conversation because your partner's already on the defensive and isn't going to listen to a thing you say, right? So use a softened startup. Be gentle, calm, and, you know, just really be clear about yourself and why and not so emotionally reactive as you start to bring this up. That's the second step. The third step is to make eye contact with your partner when you're talking about this. Speak from your heart, speak and, and let them know how you're feeling, um, whether it's from a vulnerable place, which is always good, um, but just you know, look into their eyes and really try to have that kind of soul to soul communication that so many couples aren't able to have when we talk about kind of loaded issues. So stay calm, use a soft and startup, and just kind of really be present and looking into this person's eyes. That's the third step. And the fourth step is to listen, right? Try to empathize with your partner's perspective. Try to understand where he or she may be coming from and listen to what they're saying. That's really important. We often want to unload and let them know all of our stuff, but if you kind of take a step back and listen to them, that can go a long way as well. So four quick steps to have, four quick steps to have a difficult conversation are one, Carve out a time, make an appointment, let, let it be known that this is happening. Two, use a softened startup. Talk from a place of calmness and empowerment and, and also be mindful of you know, your own emotional presence as you speak about this. Three, make eye contact, cannot be overstated, right? Really connect to your partner when you're having this conversation. And four, listen, listen to what your partner's saying, empathize, validate, understand their position as well. So I hope this is helpful. If so, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have any other suggestions that you use to have a difficult conversation. And uh, maybe you need to get one of those on your calendar. Let me know. Thanks for watching as always. And cheers to thriving in business and love.